What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today what we are doing is hosting ourselves another quiz and today it is nice and desert themed. I don't know why. Don't ask questions. I just made it desert themed because it's awesome. Basically this is going to be the world's worst quiz ever because only the first two questions are going to have real answers. For the other eight questions here, they're wrong. Literally like for instance this one. What damages an enderman forces it to teleport? The correct answer here is going to be fire but I'm going to pretend it's one melee attacks which which is not correct and I'm gonna do that for every other question so literally every question is gonna have the wrong answer so it's basically just a random quiz because there is no guessing the correct answer it's basically random it should be fun hosting the worst quiz and I'm even insulting them a little bad <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, hit the like button and subscribe. Otherwise, I will punch you in the kneecaps until they pop off. That's not weird. It's no, it's totally, it's a normal thing to say. Just like and subscribe. Let's jump into the video. All right, so we've got everybody here and oh, would you look at that? So sad, stuck in spawn. I honestly don't care. <laughs> I explained it to everybody and I also at the end said I just finished this quiz like 10 minutes ago So don't judge me if there are any mistakes. That's not true I finished this quiz yesterday, but basically I just said that so hopefully they don't you know realize that I made these mistakes on purpose so Yeah, we're gonna go with our first question here, which remember the first couple of questions are legit Which of these is not a potion ingredient glowstone dust fermented spider eye redstone dust or blaze rod And uh, the correct answer is number four a blaze rod, which I mean most people I think should should know that, right? I mean, most people should know that, I think. And what? How dumb can you be? Do you not know Minecraft? Why are all these people seeing redstone dust? I literally never play survival Minecraft, and even I know redstone dust is used for strength potions. Right? Hang on, let me... I should probably Google this to make sure. Oh, it doesn't make strength. It just extends the duration. Okay, but I still knew it was useful, okay? What we're gonna go ahead and do is everyone who lost is all gonna compete against each other. I know this is really unoriginal, but I don't care. But I'm just gonna set the ground to half gold, half air. So some people are gonna fall in the void, and if I type it again, it changes up. And there we go, we saw some people fall. You will all get to move on. Give them their invisibility, and now our next question, how many music discs are there? The correct answer is number three, because there are 13. Are you sure about that? Go ahead and take away their potion effects, and hey, will you look at that? Most people got it right. Wait, hang on. No, 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 wait, no, 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 I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. No, 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 there's 12. I just thought about it. Yeah, there's 12. So most people actually got it wrong. So which box got the least amount of votes? And the least amount of votes is a redstone. So the people in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them. Get in, go on. <laughs> and he just jumps right in. Go on, jump in the void. Boop. <laughs> and then we'll let these kids compete. Oh, you know what would be really fun is if we played some anvil drop in here. And so here we go, transition time. And there we go. We got our anvil arena all set. And then we're gonna, I literally just tested this and it worked fine. Oh, well, uh, okay, that somehow made it all fall. Let's go ahead and manually update these things. We're gonna make this super challenging. Just go ahead, undo this, and then make everything drop. That's a lot of anvils. That's a lot of squishy squash. And we're gonna go ahead and fill this up a lot. There's barely gonna be anywhere you can go. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I like this. Go ahead, undo, and place, and there we go. <laughs> we squished up. A lot of people, alrighty. And now, time for the impossible questions. What damages an Enderman and forces them to teleport? Yeah, they're all gonna go to two, but that's not the answer. The answer I'm gonna say is one. So go ahead, do that, clear their potion effects, and what? Why is, <laughs> how did so many people get that wrong? Literally arrows do nothing. Eye contact, no. Melee attacks does not force, the okay. People are so dumb. They don't even realize that they're answering incorrectly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this entire arena and go ahead and make a region where PVP is enabled in here. Should take a second to update, then we should be good. Yep, there we go. PVP is on. It'll take a minute. They're just using their silly old little fists. Come on, speed up the process. There we go. I wanna see three more die. One, two, three. There we go. On to our next impossible question here. What mob can drop bone meal? Now the answer to that is none of them. None of these mobs can drop bone meal. But I'm gonna pretend that it is number three, a skeleton. So yeah, they are all dispersed because there's no real answer. So we'll just say correct answer was number three and this kid is all alone in the number one box. So I'm just gonna pop a hole right there. Get in. Go on. Get in. Do it. Or ban. Oh, well, I didn't even have to say or ban because he did it anyway. So let's see, what should we 
do here? Should we just do some sumo? I think that's a good idea. Eh, my bad. I gotta turn PvP on. So one, two, three, one more. And there we go. So there we go. That was pretty good. I like it. We're down to like, let's see. Um, 17 people. Other than a chicken, what mob can drop a feather? Now the answer is none. Well, I mean a parrot can, but that doesn't exist in this version. Zombies used to. However, after 1.8, they no longer can. So I'm gonna pretend the answer is four, like I'm an idiot. Like I didn't realize that that feature was disabled. Now, I don't even know if any of them know that zombies used to be able to drop feathers because that was like so long ago. Again, it was just 1.7. So, oh yeah, they all answered zombies. So they used to know that. Ah, uh, but yeah, these two um, apparently thought it was zombie pigmen. So I'll just go ahead and drop the both of them. There we go. All right, they technically answered incorrectly, but <laughs> well, whatever, whatever. It's, it's all fine, guys. It's all fine. Next question here. Which of these has the most hearts? Is that a ghast, creeper, enderman, or guardian? The correct answer is enderman number three, but I'm gonna pretend it's number four, guardian. Um, an enderman has, I think it's 40 hearts, and then a guardian has 15, so it's pretty close. You know, it's something people probably won't know at the top of their head. Effect clear, and oh, actually most people thought it was guardian, even though no, it's actually surprisingly an enderman. Stand on one block, hold still. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just replace some of the diamonds that they're standing on to air. Now, what we're gonna do is 98% diamond and only 2% air. So odds are when I hit enter here, all of the diamonds will stay. So enter. And as you can see, they all stayed. I'm gonna have to type it multiple times before finally one of them gets set to air. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm having to type it so much. Jeez. Can one of them just get set to air, please? Hello? Any of the diamonds? Any at all? Bruh. Okay. Let's. Oh yeah. Finally. <laughs> there we go. Let's keep doing it till I see all well, there you go. One more. So we'll go ahead, set it to diamond. You two move on. So let's see. What's our next question? Oh, wow. We only have three left. Okay. I should. Oh, wow. I didn't expect to get this far. What layer is the most common for finding diamonds? Is it four, 16, eight, or 10? The correct answer is, I believe, around 12. However, that's not here. And I'm going to pretend that the answer is two, which is 16, which is not correct. 16 is just the minimum level you have to go to to find diamonds. So it seems like, you know, I've just made an innocent mistake. But from the the ones listed here, they're probably all gonna go for four, which is layer 10, which is pretty close. I mean, that's a very good level to go to. So yeah, I imagine when I go ahead and affect clear, we're gonna see them. Yep, all there. And not a single person voted for Y16. Okay. And I'm just gonna insult them. Imagine being this dumb. <laughs> Cause right now they're all thinking in their brain, like, no, Zelk, you're the one that's dumb. You're wrong. But they have no way of communicating that to me because chat is off. Um, oh, I know, I know, I know. No, okay, here's what we'll do. Do just like some really quick parkour here. We have 13 of them left. So I want seven of them to complete the parkour. Let's see here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And soon as bam, <laughs> you were so close, but you were the eighth. So nah, go ahead, select all of this, set that to zero and goodbye to all of you. So our next to last question here, how many buckets do you need to make an infinite water source? It's kind of a trick question. You only technically need one bucket, but you need two water sources. So that could be interpreted as either one or two. I have no idea which way they're gonna vote, but basically one or two, whichever one has the majority vote, I'm gonna pretend like that one's wrong. So effect clear and two, they all answered incorrect. They legitimately answered wrong. Like the legitimate correct answer is one, but I guess I gotta eliminate some of them. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? So who has the best skin here? Uh, uh, sans man, he has the best skin. Sans man skin, dude. Go punch three people that I elim. Go. Who do you want me to elim? Oh, Skeppy Man. All right, go ahead. Send him in the void. Oh, this guy right here. Come on. In the void you go. Add one more. And it's cookie person, goodbye. And then, hang on, I'm gonna go invisible because I want Sans Man gone too. It's only fair. Hang on, hang on, I need him to hold still. Hold still and get away from everybody. Yeah, get him. I <laughs> got him, let's go. So we're down to our final three. And our final question here, which of these is an example of a passive mob? Is it a llama, enderman, zombie pigment, or iron golem? The answer is none of them. They are all neutral mobs. They will all attack you, but only if you attack them first. So yeah, I have no idea which one they're gonna vote for. I think they might vote for either one or four. Um, yeah, I think the majority of them will go for llama though. Cause that seems like the most passive mob. Uh, what the? They all went for 
zombie pigmen for passive mob? That is like the least passive mob you could have chosen. You attack one of them and literally every zombie pigmen in the entire area just all converges on you to kill you. <sighs> Okay, what? You are all so very wrong. Again, none of them are passive mobs, but zombie pigmen is like the least passive. Wow, okay. I mean, I shouldn't even be mad at them, right? Because, I mean, there is no correct answer. So I've just given them all one sign, and I told them to vote for who uh, we should eliminate here. Who did he vote? He voted for make. This kid voted for permuted, and this kid voted for permuted. So, uh, permuted, you lose. So go ahead, kill him. Goodbye. Well, that was nice having them all, you know, turn on each other that's very entertaining so now they are both in a sign ready to type and i'm gonna give them a question the first person to answer it correctly wins so let's see i have a few prepared here oh i like this one name the title of any music disc and bop, boop. first one here i don't even know the title of any music disc to be honest with you cat is that one cat it is and this kid <laughs> he wins well <laughs> he couldn't name any so roman is the winner yay I mean, technically, this kid wins by pure chance. There was no skill involved in this quiz at all. We got to all 10 questions. So, 8 out of 10 questions had no real answer. I'm literally giving him a reward. I don't even know why. He doesn't deserve it. So, there you go. Gave him a coupon code for the Invader Land store since how he quote unquote won. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn chat back on just to see what people are saying. Rigged. Yep, that's the first one. All four mobs are passive aggressive. I wanna cry. <laughs> and there's more rigged. GG. But most people are just saying GG. GG, I don't think they realized. I don't think most of them even realized that this was legitimately the worst quiz ever hosted. Like only a couple of people were calling me out. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad that they didn't even realize. They're so bad at the game. They had no idea that they actually technically answered incorrectly. Wow, this was the worst quiz ever. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So bye.